All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Global just got a new data download about 10 minutes ago, but unfortunately it seems like Croton hasn't posted the assets on Twitter yet, so we can't see those, but we also got some in-game news for this year's Halloween celebration. So uh, we are gonna be checking that out in this video. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. As you can see, it says, the fantastically spooky Dokkan campaign. Enjoy the game and awesome rewards. Uh, fantastically spooky Dokkan campaign is on. Items including the training item Candy Cane can be obtained upon the first login uh, on Sunday, October 30th. And upon the first login on the 30th, which is, you know, the day before Halloween or I guess actually Halloween depending on your time zone. You'll get some candy canes, which are some of the best training items in the game. We got 10 Deborah cookies, 5 Ghost Lushers, and also 5 uh, Baba support item as well. And on top of that, we have a login bonus. We have some fantastically spooky special missions. And we also have the special Halloween banner, which will be available um, in a couple of hours, I think. Maybe like 2 or 3 hours from now, we should be getting this Halloween banner. Now, there won't be any new units, as with uh, all of these banners, it's basically a Dokkanfest banner with a lot of very good, you know, recent Dokkanfest units, like the Majin Majida, like the uh, Exchange Goku and Gohan, uh, maybe, you know, things like AGL Transforming Trunks, or uh, I guess GT Pan will be there, but basically, some of the more recent, some of the better Dokkan Fest units will be on this banner, so as far as value goes, if you're missing a lot of them, we'll have to see the actual pool to determine like how good it is, but um, if you're you know missing a lot of the units on this banner, once we see it, then it's actually not the worst banner to summon on, I gotta be honest. So we got the Halloween banner, we have the uh, ticket pack of course, with some tickets for the new Halloween banner, we do have a new Dragonstone sale, which is very basic. 32 stone pack times 2, 91 stone pack times 4, nothing special there. We have, of course, an Elder Kai banner, and also a new Dragon Ball story. Okay, interesting. Fierce battle for Planet Namek. That's always good. Some free stones there. We got a renewal of the uh, Mecha Frieza strike event. We have a new stage for Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, can't recall the category as always, but new stage, always cool, and uh, of course some returning um, Dokkan events as well that are available every day during the celebration for these units right here. And then we also have a new special event coming, and of course this is going to be a new story event for this year's Halloween unit, which uh, will be available in... I guess closer to Halloween, probably in like a week or so. I'm not sure, honestly, but they decided to hide it because they want to keep it a surprise. So we are, of course, going to be getting a new Halloween unit this year. I don't know exactly what it's going to be. I'm hoping it's going to be... I mean, I've been asking for this every year. I want an apron Vegeta with like the, you know, the pink apron holding an egg, uh, an egg you know, or something like that from, uh, of course, the anime. But, um... And if it's gonna be something else, maybe like a Super Saiyan Hercule or something fun like that. I mean, they always make it interesting, so I'm sure it's gonna be the same thing this year, but I've wanted that Apron Egg Vegeta forever, so that's gonna be my first pick, but you guys let me know in the comments what you would prefer for this year's Halloween unit, and uh, we'll see who gets it right, right? So, uh, new special event, new stage of Extreme Z area, which is gonna be for Extreme Z Awakening, I would assume, for last year's Halloween unit, which was 8 or 17. So, yeah, I think these guys will probably be getting Extreme Z Awakening for uh, for this Extreme Z area stage. And then also the renewal of a Super Strike event. Um, I'm actually not sure which one they're referring to here. I'm not too sure. I mean, of course, we're getting the Mecha Frieza one, but I'm assuming this is a different one, so... Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Anyways, uh, renewal of Super Strike event. We have a update to the Majin Buu Candy Mischief event. And then also, of course, the uh, reopening of these four events 
as well, which are the Halloween events from previous years, right? So uh, that about does it for the Halloween celebration. Of course, a couple of question marks still, a couple of things that we are still unsure about at the moment. But for the most part, it is what you would expect from a Halloween celebration. And uh, let me quickly cover a few other things here. So number one, we have the uh, blue Incredible Gems, which are available from the new stages of the quest mode. It says right here, the blue gems can be exchanged for rewards, including Super Saiyan, Super, uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, or Super Saiyan Blue Vegitos, uh, Extremes the Awakening Medals, and uh, also some other uh, uh, Elder Kai's and stuff like that. And these will be available from Area 28, which is the new area of the quest mode. So yeah, get your blue gems, exchange them for the Awakening Medals for LR Vegito Blue to Extremes Awaken him. I will probably do a showcase tomorrow, so look forward to that. And of course, new stages of uh, the quest mode now available. We have the new stages, also more stages on top of that coming soon because JP just got some new stages on top of the new, new stages we just got on Global. And uh, we have the Extreme Challenge campaign for Vegito Blue. We have uh, some new missions for the quest mode and also you know, more things in Baba Shop, Quadruple Ranking XP, and uh, the Legendary Challenge campaign, which is still ongoing for Vegito Blue. And what else? Uh, special missions. I don't think there's really going to be anything too special here, aside from, you know, your standard like Dragon Stones, uh, Hercule Statues, Training Items, Support Items, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, a couple of stones right there. We have your login bonus, one stone every day, as you would expect, and then that special login bonus, of course, for actual Halloween, which, uh, I mean, I would have preferred some more dragon stones, honestly, but it is what it is, I guess. And what else do we have here? Uh, extreme challenge campaign, of course, for Vegito Blue. Um, as I said before, you can get the Extreme Z Awakening Medals by running the new stages of the story mode, getting those blue gems, and then buying the medals with the blue gems. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. We do get five Dragon Stones for Extreme Z Awakening, but you know blue, and he is very good. He is very, very good. We did get the updated version that uh, JP currently has, but when he first came out on JP, there was a lot of... There, there was a lot of upset people, man, over his details, and there was so much commotion that people actually got Bandai to change the details for his Extreme Z Awakening and gave him a buff, you know, make him better. So, yeah, we did get the better one, which is great. So, once again, showcase coming soon. And uh, there you have it, guys. That is... Yeah, that is the... Halloween celebration slash like new story quest stage uh, celebration, I guess. There's a lot of stuff going on in Global, a bunch of things, but for the most part, um, the new stuff that we just learned about is for the Halloween campaign. Of course, once again, still some unknowns. Uh, I want to hear your opinions. I want to hear your predictions for this year's Halloween unit. And hopefully, it's April Vegeta. We'll see. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for today's video. Uh, I might do a data download update in the morning. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep right now though because it's very late. But uh, of course, shout out to Proton, TidMG for putting in the work for the data downloads. Just a you know, preemptive thank you because we appreciate it. You know? So guys, thank you for watching once again. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.